The Angular team have revealed the new resource primitive that will be landing in V19 of Angular, which is just around the corner. This one has been a long time coming and is significant because there will now be a viable way to code many Angular applications declaratively with just signals. It doesn't mean RxJS won't be useful in Angular applications anymore, but I do think we are getting close to the point where declarative Angular applications without RxJS or anything else that fills that role will be feasible. Let's just jump right into an example because I think it is really compelling. Recently we covered the benefits of declarative code which involves not reassigning variables while still being able to have things actually change in your application over time. I showed some RxJS code for a typical scenario where you need to request some data whenever the page number or filter changes and where you also want access to any errors from that request. This code is somewhat pure and idealistic and not typically exactly how I would approach the problem but it captures the basic concept well. We are able to define our data declaratively and get both a data and error stream for the request. Anytime the page or filter changes, our data and error streams will update appropriately. And all of this is defined declaratively. If we tried to implement a similar scenario in Angular with just signals, there basically just wasn't a way to do it declaratively you would have to create an effect to react to the signals changing and execute a request that imperatively sets a signal from the effect. But now with the resource primitive, we can quite easily achieve the same level of declarative code with just signals and the promise-based fetch API. The resource primitive here will return us a writable signal that will provide us with the value from the request, its current status, as in whether it is currently loading or not, and the error if the request causes an error. And since we are able to pass along the abort signal, we even get cancellation of requests in the same way that SwitchMap allows us to cancel an in-progress request with HTTP client if a new request is triggered. So not only is it now possible to handle requests declaratively with just signals, I would argue for this specific circumstance, this is actually just better and easier. It is just one type of scenario that RxJS has been good at handling, but it is also perhaps the most common use of RxJS in Angular apps, an HTTP request with SwitchMap. The Angular team are on the path of making RxJS optional, and I feel like we are now close to a state where that is becoming viable. But it is important to keep in mind that these features aren't intended to be RxJS killers. In fact, this API and others have built-in support for RxJS interoperability. RxJS is powerful and will continue to have a role in Angular, but I think likely we will get to a point where RxJS is only used by those people who specifically want to use RxJS. And Signals will be able to handle all of the common use cases in applications so that people who aren't interested in RxJS aren't forced to use it. Obviously this is all very new right now and may change before v19 is out and it will be in developer preview after that for a while as well. If you want to learn more about these new APIs there is a great post from Anea you can check out that I will link in the description and you can check out the pull request for this API as well. If you found this video helpful please consider a like or subscribe before you go and I hope to see you back here for the next video.